here. Watch as I take these kits, these 3D printed tiles, all this stuff, and my mitts to transform one of Jay's pieces he made over 10 years ago, this wall piece, into an upper hive wall section played for Necromunda. Here's a little walkthrough from, uh, this picture's from 2011, one of our group's big games. I believe orcs were attacking Imperials, not too surprising. Anyways, thank you guys for stopping by as I build this little sucker into an upper hive wall. So here's some more shots. The other side. Yeah, this was a massive game that we had. Um, I'm gonna step out here. Yeah, it was Chaos and Orcs. Yes, those are all real sized uh, guys. So uh, we're starting out here. Uh, as always, I got a whole bunch of these tiles that my buddy Mike printed for me. Um, these are awesome tiles, but yeah, you gotta clean up this, the, uh, the stuff. And being FDM prints, these, uh, these are just plastic, so I can cut them with my plexiglass cutter. Um, same as plexiglass. It's a little more fibrous on the break, but you know, not too bad. Um, this is going to be, that you're gonna see on this video, um, a little bit more hot glue than what I do in the past. Um, a lot of spots on this are gonna be kind of for decoration. On this one, I felt it was somewhat uh, necessary. Um, none of this stuff right here, anybody's really going to play on, to be perfectly honest. I just figured for time's sake and just to get them up there, this is the first tile. Um, one of the things you guys will probably notice by the end of this build is that I don't have any ladders or doors on this piece. Um, that's actually on purpose. The full project is going to be at least another section like this uh, for my Enforcer's Precinct. Um, to, and then in between these two pieces, the, the two pieces is going to be a massive gate, which is, if you know Necromunda lore, that's where the rich people are from the poor people. Um, most games uh, happen in the lower hive, the under hive, um, or the factory areas where Necromunda makes all of the goods that they send out to the Imperium. Um, they, I guess keeping the riffraff out is taken extremely literally <laughs> in the game. Cause yeah, there's a upper spire wall. That's what this is um, to keep the real rich people from having to deal with the really poor people. You know, hey, I don't necessarily agree with it, but that's how it is. It's gonna make a really cool terrain piece here. Here's a couple of nice shots of the back of my hand. I'm sorry guys, I'm trying to get better at this, but uh, you get lost in the build and you forget about the videoing stuff. So. Yeah, cutting some more plexiglass. This is for the top here, oh, plexiglass, sorry, tiles. Um, this is for the top of the wall. Um, I really want this uh, to just stand out as just a huge wall of iron. Um, when I get done with it, uh, with a little bit of rock creed in between. But uh, man, Mike really saved my butt cutting all of these because I'll tell you what, or printing all of these because it would be just death on my pocketbook, even worse if I were to buy this as own tiles. <laughs> I really, really can't thank enough for all of all of the people that helped me uh, do all these projects. It's pretty fantastic. Yeah, and here we go. Now we've got the main structures going here. It's time to make some walkways and some other stuff. Um, you will notice the pipe coming up. Uh, I did not uh, film that part. Um, I was having technical difficulties, amazingly enough. But uh, yeah, once again, hot glue. On these parts, I'm gonna be uh, double gluing again like I normally do with my E6000. But uh, yeah, you can see I got a, uh, a column up top there. Um, 
I wasn't sure whether I was going to use those on this piece, you know, at this point. Um, but I knew I wanted to put something like this up there. Okay, yeah, here we go. Now we're getting some good stuff. This is uh, Ash Waste's um, Terrain. These are the uh, strut structures, the cross beams that I kind of cut and uh, it, it's a good look. I really like it. It's it's a bit more imposing than the, the normal, you know, just ramrod weld, <laughs> weld a, a, a cross beam on. I wanted this to look a little bit more um, refined, I think is the right word. Um, yeah, I would go with just the railings up top. Um, like I said, in the beginning, this is not going to be too much on this. I really, this was my practice one, um, just to see what's, what's possible and what can happen, you know, after I get a few things and what kind of parts I want it to look like, you know. I have enough parts to make another tile look like this, um, and then I can work on the gate. Uh, so, you know, that's gonna be a lot of fun too. Uh, yeah, up top there. Um, oh, yeah, right. Up top, there is uh, cross members with uh, gang uh, stronghold uh, terrain. But, yeah, about halfway through, I was looking at the floor, and I'm like, I, I can't. This has to mesh with my hive tiles. So, at some point, I'm going to have to do the floor. And... A little bit more cutting. Yeah, here's the gluing of it. Um, yeah, I'm going to put these pipes on. I think I'm going to let you guys watch for a little while, and then I will be back. pipe kit I really wish they would come back with it just by itself um, this is one of the most useful things for making any kind of you know terrain that has anything to do with you know any of the Imperial planets not just Necromunda um, yeah so here we go we're gonna be you know cutting up pieces of the floor now down here I am adding some columns I'm not sure if I filmed that or not um, but that is just so I could butt up a Zone Mortalis tile to it and uh, be able to uh, go up if I wanted to. <clears throat> now, like I said earlier, this piece doesn't have any ladders on it or doors. Um, the, the truth is, this one is more along the lines of... Uh, it's just going to be walked on and walked on the back and walked on the front, but not so much on the inside. Um, when we get a little bit to the next part of the video and we start doing the stair work in the back and things like that, um, you'll see what I'm talking about. But uh, I was considering this to be a uh, maybe have a, a hatch in the uh, on the top, you know, going down into the piece. Um, but to be honest, most most things like this, you need terrain that uh, you know that that does filler. And I figure I'd start with the filler first before I get the decorative tiles. Okay, here we go. We're back in 2011. Uh, the main the main assault on the wall pieces. Oh my God, this was a ridiculous game. <laughs> Hey, you can see orcs are, are storming, so is chaos. But yeah, look at that wall. That wall is so imposing. Jay did such a great job on this. And I hope this is doing it somewhat justice. Um, I'm going to be doing a bunch more on this stuff. So there's a bastion in the back there that one of my friends still has. And uh, that might be a future thing, too, for Necrobunda. But uh, yeah, so... Here we go. Um, we, I figured there'd be a nice column going across the back. Um, 
I wanted to have a split on it. Like, like I said, this is kind of a plain Jane one for this first one, just so I can get my bearings on how this this uh, process will work, or at least a basic process uh, before we get too detailed. Um, yeah, and just to let you know, I will be making more of these. Um, I'm, I've got some interesting plans coming up for other big Necromunda events and just all around coolness of the board um yeah so i had these this stair here and i figured i'd do this um yeah this was when i really decided that you know there there aren't going to be any ladders going up to this or anything you, you'll have to get to it from another vantage point either terrain butted up against it that you would climb up and then jump over or um when i get the other side built you know crossing the top of the gate um yeah here's here's a lift yeah i i really it's funny as as this build was going on i i really wanted this to be um very singular now in the game of necromunda are there ways that you can get on top of stuff and all that other things without stairs and ladders and all that yes those are specialty dudes um, that have war gear. Uh, usually not, I mean, I suppose if you wanted to start your gang out spending that much points on that kind of gear, that's awesome. But, you know, the idea behind this is that the regular hivers can't get in here. This is going to be an enforcer precinct. Um, this is going to be, you know, an area where they're storing their ammo and, and things like that. And just a great big bulkhead. Um, you know, it, it's not meant for your normal, you know, scummer, ganger, anybody to go into without invite, um, without knowing the secret password or whatever that door is. And I might add all that on later. Um, but for this initial build here, I wanted to just, like I said, just get something started here, get an idea going. I really enjoy that, especially as this build went on, I was really enjoying just the simplicity of it um there's plenty on here too um you know that's why i went with barrels and crates and i got that little that little uh fuel pump right there um top her off with a little bit of uh tablecloth magic that i'm going to use the uh, the old mod pod john and a little sand texture here and you know i i've gonna say build done you know this is this thing's gonna look stupid imposing but i don't necessarily know if adding more to it would have made it any better uh just more breakable i think um i really like jay's design on these things to be perfectly honest um they're a nice simple totally to the point got there but that was also for a 40k board and here's some more pictures of <laughs> the wall this is 2013 we didn't use the whole thing on a floor basis on this one this one's on a table but <laughs> he got imperials on one side and orcs on the other look at that battle fortress i made years ago <laughs> you know i still have that thing somewhere maybe a gigantic ash waste jawa vehicle something like that later on in life um, yeah, probably this year too the way i'm building stuff but uh yeah that was a great game too oh my goodness but uh yeah we're coming up to the final spin
Here we are again, me talking to you. Thanks so much for sitting through this one. Um, I'm at it again, and uh, we, there will be some more. So you guys have a great night, and please like and subscribe.